baked beans, corn, sweet potato fries, and tater tots are not vegetables. Now, the USDA and your public school system uh, seems to think differently. And yes, they are all plants and they come from the earth. But typically these items are heavy starch. Uh, I count them as a carb, natural ground carbs like potatoes and yams, um, tater tots, not a vegetable. Come on, public school system, let's get with it. There's some really cool apps out there that you can monitor your children's lunch programs, what they're eating, the menus for each given day. And frankly, it can be quite disappointing. You can download the School Cafe app to keep tabs on what your kids are eating at school. But crinkle cut french fries, steamed corn, and tater tots should not be counted as a vegetable. Now I know that most days the high school offers a salad um, as an option for these kids, but there's probably only two days a week that the kids are actually offered uh, sides like broccoli to go along with the main um, course selection, which is just not enough vegetables, not in the course of a week. That's like literally two servings of green vegetables through the course of five days. Um, not good. So an example, and I just find this um, actually kind of funny because I've never even heard of these terms before, but one day this week, the main course is tachos. Tachos, folks, are tater tots covered in ground beef and nacho cheese sauce. Now the side that is available to the high schoolers on this same day for their vegetable is another side of tater tots. So let's just double it up on the tater tots. Now, mind you, you can look at the ingredients on the apps that I um, will share with you, but the ground beef has a lot of added ingredients to them. It's not 100% uh, real ground beef. There's a lot of uh, soy powder, um, et cetera, added to it. The cheese sauce is downright nasty. I know that kids love it, um, but honestly, it's uh, not good for you. These are the ingredients in the beef nacho meat that our kids are served at school. Now let's just say your child is responsible and they actually like fruits and vegetables and so they're trying to add some goodness into their school lunch. Well, the fruit options are a fresh apple. Great, what a great choice. And, or they could choose raisins. Raisins are raisins covered in what I describe as Sour Patch Kid coating. So it creates a sugary, sour um, stickiness on top of the raisin itself to encourage kids to eat the raisins. 31 grams of sugar. Now add a container of chocolate milk to that because we all know that kids prefer chocolate milk over white. That's 22 additional grams of sugar added to their lunch. School breakfasts and lunches consist of highly processed food. You've got your typical whole grain brown substance, your protein source, which might be some kind of mystery meat, um, along with maybe a cheese sauce, which constitutes as a protein source, according to the school and the USDA. Um, we are overfeeding our children with crap and they are all undernourished. We are setting our children up for failure if we are not talking about uh, nutrition. Obesity rates are extremely high, especially in children and young adults. And um, obviously there's a huge problem um, with the guidance that we give our children as far as what they eat on a daily basis. So I encourage everybody to do some research, read, please promote fruits and vegetables, natural fruits and vegetables, raw fruits and vegetables, incorporate those in along with essential fats because they are um, crucial for, like I said, brain health and these young people are still growing. You can find natural fats in nuts, seeds, avocados, olives, olive oil, coconut oil, um, just don't overdo it. But natural fats are super important and the USDA and our school systems promote low fat lunches and breakfasts. Fat is sometimes good. Let me leave you with this final thought. We do a horrible job, parents, educators, and society as a whole, in educating our kids on nutrition and how to cook, which is a lifelong skill that is extremely valuable to them. Um, we do a really great job investing millions and millions into our athletic programs because we wanna build champions. But being a champion requires a huge part to be invested in nutrition and how we fuel our bodies. 
That's why colleges and universities put food programs and nutrition programs in place to teach their college athletes how to eat, how to fuel their body, and how to cook when they are on their own because it's absolutely crucial. So I encourage everybody, get involved in the kitchen. Um, educate your kids on well-balanced meals that include vegetables, drinking enough water, healthy fats, good, real, lean proteins, and non-processed carbs, please. Um, their futures depend on it.